All right, I wanted to quickly show you how a Wix Pro gallery works in terms of having images. Um, when you add images, if it displays a title, um, and how to change the title if it does display that um, in these Wix Pro galleries. So first off, I have a Wix Pro gallery here. I added that by coming over here to gallery to Pro galleries. Pro galleries have a little bit more um, functionality and flexibility and customization than some of the standard um, galleries. So I think a lot of them now are pro galleries that it, it suggests to you. But um, anyway, I'm using the grid gallery. So let's come in here. Um, this is the gallery that's already placed on my page. I already have media here. If I wanted to change the titles of these um, images when they right now it, it basically it works so that if I click on one of these it's going to take me to a page that has this title here you can also set it up so that it shows the title over the rollover when you roll over it and let me show you kind of where those settings are um, first off to adjust the titles themselves you want to go into manage media click on the image desired, and then change your title. You can also add a description, and you can also add a link here, so you can link it to other pages. Um, but if you don't want any title at all to show up, just delete this here. It does, by default, bring in the file name when you first add these pictures. So the file name is always going to default show up here. Um, so if you want to erase it, just select it and delete it. Um, in this case, I'm going to leave this one here because um, I actually do want that title, uh, or, well, I just deleted it, but um, let's go ahead and put this in here, event company. So the second place where this is set up is under your settings. So click here on settings, and then you're going to go to layout. So right now I have grid. You can actually change the layout um, here as well, but if you want to edit this one, come up to customize layout. Um, this will allow you to adjust things like what kind of direction you want it to scroll in, um, if you want uh, it to fit the images or crop the images. I usually like crop for pictures and fit for something like this, which is logos, because it's not going to crop off the logos, um, whereas pictures look a little nicer cropped because then if it's in a grid, they're all the same size, even if they have different proportions. Um, you can also come down here to say fit to screen or set items per row and you can set the number of rows, you can set the spacing and even turn on a load more button if you don't want all of them to show up one at once. Um, the next option is to come over here to design. If you come here to texts, this is where you can turn it on or off um, to display the title upon rollover. And it even shows you how that looks here. Um, you can edit that under text, um, and then you scroll all the way down here, and you can change the heading, so you can change the size of it, you can change the color of it, um, et cetera, et cetera. In my case, I don't actually want it to show those on rollover. I, I like it just showing up in the, um, the new window that pops up. Another thing that you can set is under here under settings opening expand mode that's how I have mine working and the way that is is that means that when somebody clicks on this it opens up a full screen window that they can tab through these if you do not like that setting click on back to editor here you can come into settings go to settings and then change this um, you can say I, I don't want anything to happen or I want it to open into a full screen or I want it to open into a link uh, go to a link so any one of those is fine. If you use open and expand mode and you add a link to your images, it's going to add a link to the image in the expand mode. So you'll see a little link below the title that people can click on. If you want them to go directly to a link, then choose the a link opens rather than opening into an expand mode. But I'm going to leave this one here as it is. Um, so those are just a couple quick tools of how to use your Wix Pro Gallery to get it where you like it. Um, a lot of people ask me, why are my file names appearing when I roll over these images? And it's because you need to remove those here or adjust the settings so it doesn't show them upon rollover. So again, you would come here to design, go to text, and then you can click this on or off. And then you can also tell it where to display them. Um, you can tell it to put it above, below, on image, etc., etc. And then if you scroll down, you'll see the abilities to um, make it so that it appears when upon rollover or it disappears upon rollover. 
or no change. It just stays on all the time. You can also adjust the title and the description font sizes here, and you can also adjust the vertical alignment um, and the horizontal alignment. So just know that all of these options are here and they're located under design texts, um, and that's under your settings of your Wix Pro Gallery. Let me know if you have any other questions, um, but happy Wixing. Uh, I think you'll find that these Wix Pro Galleries are great for displaying lots of pictures or projects um, easily in a slideshow type format. And there's lots of features uh, and edit, you know, things that you can do to edit. I also love the collage, the masonry. Um, there's lots of other layouts you could choose. I do like the grid because it is a little neater than most of them. And um, you have a little bit of control over exactly how they appear. Whereas these ones, the collage and masonry, they can kind of adjust depending on the size of the screen. Um, in this case, I wanted something that was a little bit more static, so I used the grid. Um, but let me know if you have any other questions. Happy Wixen!